Admit the units of the text. Raging fires, vampires, creepy crawling, rubber infested eye, bones on eyes, face, corpses come to life. Schizophrenic maniac attacking with a bloody knife. Sightings with the cross, he's got a blade that's two feet long. Pierces through his lovely wife, he bits the bitch so long. <laughs> I love it. Scary, scary movies on the ceiling of screen. Aliens and maniacs, tarantulas and brainiacs, you know the kind I mean. I still have a little time to kill. Dudes and buzzing chainsaws massacre the place. Sleepwalking, open coffin, corpses, bloody face. Blood sucking insects hanging from a rope. Gotta read a 10 on the shock. Go, go. What's up, man? What's up, man? We're talking bad men, scientists, fighting sad friends. Schizophrenic general and his paranoid clad. Zombies from the master race make a scream and yell. Bugs as big as houses, demon dogs from hell. Hey guys, it's Dana again, and I know it's been uh, a little bit since I've done a video, but I wanted to do a uh, post Scarefest video. Um, I was at Scarefest this past weekend uh, in Lexington, Kentucky, and I uh, just wanted to show a few things that I picked up while I was there. Of course, this is the um, this is the program that they give out when you. Uh, pick up your tickets or your armband whichever way you want to look at it um, and there's all kinds of information in here about the people that were guests at this year's scare fest you can see a little bit of it I'm not going to show you the whole thing but you can see like some of the movies that were going on and the events that were going on and just all kinds of different things so that's that's the program. Now here is um, I've kind of stopped getting a lot of autographs. Whenever I first started going to conventions, um, I got a lot more. Like the very first convention I went to in 2004 was a uh, Cinema Wasteland convention, and I got a ton of autographs. Um, but really. It's more more for me, but I like getting autographs, but I'm I'm more excited about meeting people, so I don't tend to get a lot of autographs now, and I think that's a what a lot of um, fans have started to do, and um, also autographs are very, very expensive a lot of times, unless you get lucky enough to uh, find a guest that is willing to give one for free. Or, or give you an autograph for free or at a, a cheaper price. Um, usually the autographs will generally run twenty to twenty five dollars. Um, sometimes if you have your own item and they sign it it's a little bit cheaper and of course some guests have higher prices than twenty five dollars. So um, there are many reasons why you wouldn't want to get too many autographs. But I did get Amelia Kincaid's autograph. Let me see if I can zoom in on this a little bit. Can't see it very good because I've got it in my uh, binder here where I keep all my convention stuff. Uh, but you can see that it is signed by Amelia Kincaid. Uh, Amelia Kincaid was the main demon in... Uh, Kevin Tenney's Night of the Demons, so most of you will recognize her by this makeup job, this promotional steal, whatever you want to call it. But Amelia Kincaid was a really nice and sweet person. Um, I would have liked to talk to her more, but of course there's so much to do at Scarefest or at any of these conventions really that, um, and there's so much, there's so many people around at all times. Usually people, other people are waiting to meet these guests, so you don't want to take up too much time um, just standing around just talking. So I did talk to her for a bit, really, really sweet uh, woman. If you do get a chance to meet her at a convention, you should definitely go up to her and at least talk to her. Okay, and... I did get another autograph from um, Aaron and Wes from DeadPit.com. Um, I love this picture. I just had to to buy it just 
because the picture is so amusing to me. And they did, they did sign it. Uh, again, you're probably not going to be able to see this very well. That's where uh, Aaron or Uncle Bill has signed it for me. And on the other side, you can see that um, Wes or the Creepy Kentucky has signed it on the other side. So again, if you can get this picture from them at a convention or whatever, definitely pick it up. It's definitely worth it. Okay, uh, so that's that's mainly the autographs I got. Now the other thing that I picked up, or several things that I picked up, were from um, T-Shirt Joe. And uh, Joe's another great person does excellent t-shirts uh, I know I've talked about him before but I'll talk about him again any chance I can get because he he really is one of the sweetest guys I've ever known and he makes these incredible shirts and gives you a good price on them uh, the convention price I know he's pretty much stuck by that at all the conventions I've went to where he's where he's been at ten dollars a t-shirt is very difficult to find t-shirts of this quality for ten bucks uh, so definitely if you see Joe at a convention definitely go up talk to him buy some t-shirts from him uh, I know he would really appreciate that uh, even if you can't go to uh, a convention where you could purchase some from him he does sell t-shirts on his site which is fastcustomshirts.com so definitely check that out if you can't make it to a convention um, but this first shirt that I'm showing is um, a Slaughter High shirt uh, I didn't have one like this so I had to have it the, uh, Slaughter High is a movie that I really really like and this image on here of the killer with the Joker mask on is just a classic horror image so uh, definitely had to pick that one up so the next one that I got is a long sleeve shirt which with it being or getting cooler weather this is going to be good for me and it has Camp Airwalk with the little um, Camp Airwalk picture or symbol or whatever um, and for those of you that have seen the original Sleepaway Camp, you will know exactly what this is. Uh, camp Arawak was the camp uh, where the kids were getting killed off in the first Sleepaway Camp. So I'm really excited uh, that I finally got a shirt with the Camp Arawak emblem on it. Okay, and the last one I can show you, because I currently have the other shirt on, I'm wearing it right now but this one is Blood Diner um, for those of you that have never seen Blood Diner this movie is an experience and if you love Blood, Blood Diner you've got to have the shirt um, so far I had managed to pass up this shirt on uh, other occasions where I had talked to Joe and bought some shirts from him but no more. I couldn't resist it anymore. I had to buy it this time. Um, it has the classic Blood Diner image. It says, first they greet you, then they eat you. And for those of you, like I said, that have seen the movie, you'll know exactly what that means. Okay. Now, the last shirt, I told you I couldn't show you because I'm wearing it right now, but it is a uh, basket case shirt. And it is another really uh, awesome shirt. Um, has a classic image of uh, the young man Dwayne from the Basket Case movies carrying the basket that of course for those of you that have seen the movie you know what's in the basket um, with some New York imagery in the background another great shirt so again um, definitely go up and talk to Joe at any conventions he might happen to be at uh, or check out the website at fastcustomshirts.com Now again, I know this was a quick video, but I hadn't uh, put a video up in a while uh, And I thought I would 
uh, talk a little bit about Scarefest and things I got. Uh, the overall experience at Scarefest, I was there for only one day. I was there on Saturday. Um, but that experience alone was great. Um, met up with a lot of friends that I hadn't seen for a while. Met some new friends, um, as is usually the case. Uh, and I would like to thank everyone that I got to talk to and meet uh, for just making it just a wonderful, wonderful time for me. Um, I enjoyed uh, talking with Aaron and Wes again. Um, I enjoyed uh, actually getting to talk to uh, Jessica Frost this time. Uh, it was great meeting her and getting to talk with her a little bit. Um, Abby uh, and her husband Jamie, uh, I got to talk to them again. They are wonderful, wonderful people. Um, once again, it was great meeting you guys again. I hope to meet you or get to see you at another convention. Um, I met uh, Phil Pine for the first time. I uh, met him and his son. He had his son with him, brought him. I, I think this may have been his first convention, I'm not sure. Um, his son's first convention, anyway. Uh, but it was great to meet Phil. I've talked to him online several times, but never got a chance to meet him. So that was really great. He's a really, really nice guy. Um, again, I got to talk to uh, Joe again. Uh, got to talk to Rob Scott uh, briefly. I didn't get to talk to him as long as I usually do, but it was great to see Rob again. Um, See, oh, I also uh, got to talk to uh, Chris Prater, uh, a.k.a. Crater, uh, and his very, very nice uh, girlfriend, Candace. Um, it was really nice to meet you, Candace, and I hope that we can meet up at a, another convention soon. Um, had a lot of fun hanging out with uh, my friend Steve. Uh, a lot of you that hang around uh, the Dead Pit boards or come to the chats or anything like that uh, will know who Steve is. Um, oh gosh, I hope I'm not forgetting anybody. Um, if I am, I do very much apologize. Um, I'm just, I'm kind of thinking off the top of my head here. So if I've left anybody out, I am so very sorry. I didn't mean to, and I don't want anybody's feelings to get hurt if I didn't mention you and I saw you at the convention. But everyone that I talked to and everyone that I met made this just a perfect little mini vacation for me. And I thank all you guys. I hope to see you again on down the road. And I hope I can do another video soon. So, anyway, uh, thanks guys for watching. I hope to be on here later on.